Chess friends, we all want to defeat Mittens Cat, that's why today I played with Mittens, the mysterious bot, where I played Brid opening against him. He played absolutely perfect chess, he played like Alpha Zero, the game was very tough, if you analyze the game, you need a day to analyze the complete game and its total variations. I started with f4, I think you know the strategy behind the bird opening, if you don't know, then you can check out my chess courses to learn about bird opening, d5 by cat, e3, knight goes to f6, knight comes to f3, you can play c5, and bishop to f5, but my cat played new line bishop to g4, best move is to play h3, but I chooses to play b3, thinking to create dark square pressure on this line, knight comes to d7, cat wants to take it and play e5, bishop goes to b2, we have c6, I played h3, bishop takes knight. Queen captures f3, my strategy is to play g4 g5, pushing the kingside pawns as well, knight here, and castle, ok, cat pushed the g6 pawn, knight comes to c3, my cat trying to open the center with e5, taking the pawn is not good whatsoever, because it will activate the knight, so, I pushed my g4 pawn, I want to play g5, and castle, bishop comes to b4, h4 by me, you might say, stockfish, why not our cute cat just playing e takes f4, but things are not so easy, if it happen, then g5, knight h5. Then knight sacrifice on d5 square, targeting the rook with bishop, and also threatening this, position will be very bad for you. So, in this position, my cat played queen e7, g5 by me, knight goes to h5, bishop comes to h3, targeting the knight, f5 by cat, we have g takes f6, knight takes f6 by him, I played long castle, e takes pawn, after e takes f4, the file gets open, you have to unplug your queen and king position, rook e1 is coming, you can't castle on this way, because of this, you can't move your king on f7, because rook coming, also, you can't move your queen, because of the same reason, so, my cat played castle, which is the best move. But you what, the light squares are super weak, this pawn structure will easily targeted by the f pawn, e file is open, so, I push my f5 pawn, my strategy is to take the pawn, pawn takes, then rook to g1, targeting this, if the king moves way, then bishop to f5, sacrificing a full bishop, after pawn takes, queen takes check, king back to h8, then knight sacrifice on d5 square, pinning the knight to the king, pawn takes knight, then queen takes knight, queen here, queen slides, targeting the knight. Position will be very bad for black, and again I can analysis the whole game from this position, if you want to think like stockfish, you have to analyze the all these moves in your brain, but my cat analyzed all of these moves, because whenever I make my YouTube videos, he got a chance to watch my videos, through this way he become a new chess goat, so he played bishop to a3, bishop takes a3, queen takes a3 check, king slides, my strategy is to take the pawn, pawn takes. Then rook here, king to h7, rook up to g5, then bishop to f5, sacrificing a bishop, then create a rook battery on g file, rook takes knight, after knight takes, queen takes h5 will be disaster checkmate, because rook and queen are covering there. So, in this position, he takes the pawn, which is the best move, bishop takes pawn, I want to sacrifice my bishop on h7, after playing rook to g1 check, king slides, then bishop takes pawn, king takes bishop, rook up to g5, rook goes to g1, rook takes, knight takes, then queen takes, which will be a easy checkmate. So, my cat slides the king over, bishop back to g4, which is a brilliant move according to me, it's totally my choice whether a move brilliant or not, I want to take it, then knight takes, queen takes knight, then queen check on e5, king to g7, rook g1 check, king slides, rook to f1 check, which will be triple file checkmate. So, he moved back his knight, targeting the queen, queen runs to h3 square, targeting the knight, knight back to g7, h5 by me, I want to push my pawn, then I will trap his king on this small cage, ya ha ha ha, devil smile, he said meow meow, I won't let you do that, knight on h6, targeting this, 
bishop back to e2, he pushed the a pawn, he wants to play a4, if you take it, then b5, try to remove the a pawn to target the a2 pawn, after playing d4, try to remove it, and if you do nothing, then he will play a4, takes, pawn takes, then d4, removing the knight position, so black can target on a2 square very well. So, I move my bishop to d3, I want to take it, king takes, then queen g3, g6 check, king backs, rook slides, to deliver checkmate on g7 square, if knight here, then push the h6 pawn to create problems on this. So, he bring back his queen, rook slides on f1, rook comes to e8, rook on g1, queen back to e7, rook takes f8, rook takes rook, knight backs, rook goes to g8, we have rook to f1, knight back to e8, knight goes to d4. My tactical knight is far better than your 9 points queen, and the h pawn is a big asset for me, I want to play this and pawn h6, trapping the black king on the cage, and you have so many dark square weaknesses, he brings the knight, knight goes to f5, queen up to e5, he wants to play knight to f6, then queen to h2, try to eliminate my queen, I played knight back to e3, offering a knight exchange, knight back to f6, knight comes to f5, I want to play knight h6, best move for black is to play knight g4, but he moved the rook on f8, so, I pushed my pawn to h6, pawn gets closer to king, rook up to f7, knight back to h4, I want to play knight f3, then g5, targeting this and this. Black's biggest weakness is that his position is totally freezed, he can't move his pieces frequently because of the weak king, he have to protect each other, and the king side squares as well, my cat played a4, knight back to f3, I could play knight to g4, but I chooses to play queen h4, little inaccuracy move, because I wouldn't want to see my cat got checkmated. By me very badly, because it's my pet, targeting this, he takes the pawn, pawn takes, rook back to f8, knight jumps into g5, I want to play this, pinning the knight, then knight takes, king slides, rook g1 check, so, he pushed the pawn, guarding the square, bishop to f5, knight to c7, rook slides on e1, knight back to g8, bishop takes pawn, queen takes pawn, queen slides, queen to g7, bishop, back to d3, c4, queen check on h4, knight blocks, takes, rook to f6, c3, he played d4, pausing move, takes b5. He will fight until his last breath, his pieces can't move, c5 by me, he played queen g8, threatening queen b3 check, I moved up my queen, bishop c2, queen backs, bishop to b3, I want this, queen goes to g7, knight check, playing king h7 is bad, because of rook to e7, which will be worst for you, so, he takes the knight, bishop takes rook, queen takes bishop is not possible, because of queen check, king here, rook g1 check, queen is covering this squares, so, queen will go in front of you to save you from the bullets. Then it will be checkmate, b4 by him, bishop back to b3, queen here, rook here, you can't take the rook, because of this, it will be checkmate, so king h7, queen check, knight blocks, bishop here, targeting this, queen takes check, king takes, check, takes here, takes, here, checkmate. Thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care, see you in my next video.